you just bought the Hero 12 to try out GP-Log. Now what you don't know is that GP-Log sucks. It has the wrong encoding settings in the GoPro firmware. But this can be fixed if you know what to do. Now GoPro doesn't tell you this, but GP-Log is actually locked behind a minus 2 EV compensation, which means that every shot is going to be underexposed by two whole stops. If you use GoPro Labs, you can get Log Base 400 on the Hero 11, which is the same as GoPro Log. GoPro Log, Log B 400, same thing. In my test, I'm going to set the EV compensation on the Hero 11 to zero, and the EV compensation to GP Log is locked at minus two. I am now testing the exact same settings on the Hero 12 and the Hero 11, except on the Hero 11, I have set the EV compensation to zero. The GoPro Hero 12, it has GP Log enabled. So you can clearly see just from watching the difference in these screens, how much better the exposure is when setting it to zero. And also you can compare the mushiness of certain uh, details in the screen and take a look at these leaves here. Compare the mushiness of these leaves uh, from the noise reduction. On the Hero 11, I have noise reduction set to 50%. On the Hero 12, I have it set uh, to auto, which is full, 100%. And this is with ISO max uh, 100, which is already very low ISO, but still you can see how mushy some of these details get. And with an even more extreme example, here you can see ISO minimum maximum 400, just to accentuate how much smoothing is really happening when you have noise reduction activated. And here you can see the obvious result of the mistake that GoPro made when they set the EV compensation to minus two. Rookie mistake. Clearly you can see how much noise the image on the right produces compared to the image on the left. Now I don't blame the engineers at GoPro for making this mistake because in their eyes it might seem very logical to set the EV comp to minus two. Just take a look at this uh, log graph on this website. What this graph tells us is that adding log simply doesn't give any more highlight information. The highlight cutoff is at the same exact spot in both the log and the standard encoding. Now, this might be a bit confusing for non-log users because they're used to their highlights being pushed down and getting more highlights information when using log. And so GoPro probably wanted to compensate by lowering the exposure and letting more of the brightest areas in the shot get exposed correctly. Now this is a nice thought, but going down to minus two is quite extreme because you always want to expose to the right when exposing log footage. Because you're raising the shadows, you're also raising the noise floor of the image. And this is common for almost every single log curve. In high-end productions, we have all grown accustomed to this and we try to expose to the right if possible. Now this doesn't mean you have to expose every single shot to the right. It just means that you have to expose more to the right than what you usually would expose if you record it in Rec. 709. Let's say that you have some highlights in the shot that you really don't want to overexpose. Then it's fine to set the EV comp at a lower setting. But when the subject in the shot isn't the highlights, then you definitely don't want to underexpose the shot. The GoPro log curve has a middle gray point of 68% IRE. This means that you have more information below the middle gray point than above it. Now this means that the highlight roll-off is going to look pretty bad which it does in most cases for GoPro. And that's probably the reason why they wanted to set the EV compensation to minus two. I don't blame them, but their uh, method was a bit extreme in my opinion. So here is a compilation of what happens if you set the EV compensation to zero instead of minus two. Oh.
hopefully this helps you understand why your GoPro log footage looks like shit. Try to use GoPro Labs and it's going to look a lot better.